Joining us in the studio is Dr. Martin Ecke, who has been doing research on algae for more than 15 years, actually. Now, we've seen some uh, exciting report right here. Are algae actually, actually the answer to our rising demand for fuel? How do you judge the potential? Yes, I, I hope so. I think, it's, of course, it's not the, the absolutely answer, but it could be one of the answers to, uh, to solve a lot of our problems. Uh -huh. Problems in case of uh, energy, problems in case of feeding the mankind, and so on. But still, I can't buy any LG fuel at the gas station today. So what's putting the brakes <laughs> on the success story? <laughs> the brakes, I would say, at the moment, one of, one of the um, most important brakes is the money. It's, uh, at the moment, it's too uh, expensive to cultivate uh, LG in a high efficient uh, measure. Mm -hmm. And what do you think? <clears throat> When will the prices actually drop? Yes, I think uh, if we will do our job uh, in a good way, I hope within the next five to ten years. Uh -huh. And what is the challenge? What will you have to do within these ten years? Mm, yes, we have to. Uh, I think we have to um, improve the techniques. We have to uh, mm -hmm. um, to solve some, uh, I think, logistical problems. Mm -hmm. uh, we have to. At one point, we have to, to earn money for more research. I understand. And uh, also, we have to. Uh, To, to, open the, to open the market. Uh -huh. We have to, to bring the knowledge about the potential uh, of IG uh, to the mankind. And uh, that, that means uh, if uh, the potential is more now, uh, I think also uh, lots of people will, um, will ask for IG and then uh, we have to cultivate it. <laughs> So, it sounds great. Um, let's try to find the limit to that, actually, because algae also take uh, carbon dioxide, the greenhouse gas, out of the air to grow. So could that also be a way to stop climate change and global warming? Yes, it could be uh, one part uh, to do this in this way. Uh, of course, uh, the uh, algae will uh, capture the carbon dioxide only temporarily. Uh, that means... Uh, Uh, if you will burn this algae, the, uh, the uh, CO2 will uh, escape again. But uh, I think you can uh, use it in a, in, in a way of taking the equilibrium uh, yeah. at the same uh, level. Yeah, I understand. And how come actually these algae are such multi-talents? I mean, they also have uh, certain possibilities in the field of pharmaceuticals. So what's giving them this uh, capacity? <laughs> You must know algae, and uh, the most common algae are really old organisms. That means they exist more than uh, uh, 2.5 billion years. And uh, that means they own a lot of experience of nature. And I must say, uh, the, the nat it's a principle of, of the nature never change a winning team. Uh -huh. And uh, so uh, we would be uh, stupid if we don't use this, uh, this experience. Do you actually like algae on your plate too? How do you like the taste? Yes, uh, if, if you uh, know the potential uh, and the, the, um, the components, and if you know how healthy uh, algae are, then you will eat it. Great. Thanks a lot for the talk, Dr. Martin. It was a pleasure for me. Mm -hmm.